another day, another draft, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Hopefully I get to draft something pretty sick this time. I'm on a, I think I'm on a losing streak, so we've got Big Bad Bartok and Evan Skull Knight are the best cards with like Tremorsword as a consideration. I'm going to draft Big Bad Bartok. I think I've been losing a lot recently because I haven't been aggressive enough early game, and then I just like keep getting value, keep getting value on my opponents. Usually, the people I usually lose against have uh, really good level 1s, and I can't compete with it. So I'm going to draft Big Bad Bartok, and I'm going to try to draft more early game focused and see how it works out. So I've got two heroics available to me here, uh, that Grimgaunt and Metamorphosis. I think they're both about equal. Right at the Grimgaunt is a really good uh, pump spell, but it's situational, and it does put me in Necrium. Whereas Metamorphosis is just a solid, it's a decent removal spell, it's not nothing fancy. It keeps me in Oterra, and I think if I want to go Big Bad Bartok, I'm more inclined to go Tempest, so I'll take the Metamorphosis to keep Oterra. And follow up with a, okay, best card in the pack is Rotfiend. <laughs> so I'll take the Rotfiend now. Uh, Clockwater Titan is one of my personal favorite cards, and I like it. Actually, you know what, I've drafted a Dijon quite a bit. Y'all might be sick of seeing that. I think the best card in this pack is Rod Fiend, but I'll take the Cloud Clear Titan just for variety's sake. And huh, get immediately punished by three cards that are quite awful. Uh, Trimmer Charge is fine, though. Not, not great. It's, I'll take Savage Oath. I think it's a lot better than uh, Dryad Spoon. Level's a lot better, too. Okay, I'll take the Harbinger. This is early enough in the draft where I can just draft uh, cards around the Harbinger. Otherwise, I'd probably take the Primordial or the Volcano Giant. Closer to the Primordial, because I want to be more early game focused. And then I'll take Flame Earth Instigator to help if I get a wall. Eh, Flame Earth Instigator's not that good. Stonefish Giant's probably the next best card, maybe other than Tormai Vendor. Um, what do I want to do? I'll take the Flame Earth Instigator because it levels well. It's a lot better than Crag Walker because it, it, it's a, like the same size. No mobility, but the Defender Negation is pretty important if I pick up like an Avalanche Rider or something. So here's Twin Strength versus Aether Tab Shaman. I think both of these cards are very good. Twin Strength's probably better than Aether Tap Shaman, but I want the early game creature more than I want the Twin Strength right now, so I'm going to take the Aether Tap Shaman and then hopefully pick up Twin Strengths later in the future. Hmm, neither of these cards are super what I want to do. I'll take the Spark Soul just because it's 6-5. It's solidly sized at rank 1, and it's pretty bad at the other ranks. The Sting Invocation, clearly, easily, one of the best cards in the draft. Super annoying to play with and against. Taking two mid bag Bartox is actually pretty bad. It makes your deck uh, annoyingly consistent. Uh, it's really, really good in ranks one and two, but then rank three, you draw you're guaranteed to draw two level three big bag Bartox, and that's not always what you want to do. But uh, so I think the pick is Warhound Raider, but I'm gonna take Big Bad Bartox because it's a it's a heroic and a uh, free to play account. Need the heroics. Pyre Giant, same thing as last time. Though, granted, this this pack is not very good. It's probably between like one of these three cards: Trimmer Charge, Herald, or Deep Water Raider. Pyre Giant's not very good, but it does have the benefit of being a rock. <laughs> Grove Mage Shark works with Patron or works with a Harbinger, and is you know one of the better Otera cards. I think Shard Claw Crusher is much better than Volcano Giant. Uh, you can also put it on a bunch of different creatures, such as uh, even the Sparks will I have. Okay, Rift Flasher is slightly better than the Strength of the Numbers. Uh, just because I don't expect to have a lot of creatures. Umbrica Ice Crusher, Heroic, um, not better than Shatterbolt, which is probably what I would take. But Umbrica Ice Crusher is much better than I gave it credit for initially, uh, since it does have that, uh, whatchamacallit, extra power and toughness when you have Uterra. Uh, best card in this pack is probably Mongasaur or Spirit Stone Druid. Spirit Stone Druid only because I have one Harbinger, but since I only have one Harbinger and Spirit Stone Druid doesn't level very well, I think Mongasaur is just better. Uh, better level 1 presence as well. Twin Strength, pretty easily. Uh, I, I wanted it the Twin Strength earlier, but I took an early game creature over it. So now I have Twin Strength when I have a bunch of early game creatures. I have two big red Bartox now. Uh, Verdant Sphere is the best card in this pack. <laughs> it can actually save one of my creatures, whereas Twin Strength and Numbers usually won't. And Aranti Ice, or Aranti Cryomancer just doesn't really do anything. So take the Verdant Sphere, take the Chill Hunter. I already have two. I have an Instigator. I guess I only have an Instigator. I have an Aether Tap Shaman 2 as a 7 power creature, and a bunch of Big Bad Bartok, so I probably don't need any more large power creatures with low toughness. So we'll take the opposite. 
Okay, Deep Branch Prowler is... I don't think I want the Deep Branch Prowler, just because I have two bed by Bartok. So if I only had one Bartok, I'd probably take the Prowler, just because it has Trample and I have a uh, one Shard Claw Crusher. But the Cloud Fighter Titan pushes in a lot of damage, too, and I like that card a lot. So I'm going to take it and then follow up with Flame Break Invoker, because even though it's worse than Grove Matriarch, it does have the benefit of being a heroic. Uh, I make a lot of my decks bad, just because I pick heroics instead of uh, normal cards, but... You know, the silver is actually better than winning the draft. Stolen Fish Giant versus Sparktail Manticore? Hmm, I don't actually know what's better here. Or I could take the Boar Rider. Boar Rider's still probably worse than Giant, though. Uh, just because even though it's a really, really large at rank 2, Stolen Fish Giant can just win the game at rank 3. I'll take the Giant. I have a lot of early game. Maybe I can play it for free and then take Cragwalker. Just because I, I have a Spark Soul already, which is pretty much the same thing as Umbrella Mantis. Cragwalker may do something. And then a Harbinger? I don't have anything that works with Harbinger, so that's probably not even going to be a good pick. I've only got Stingy Invocation, which I don't need Harbinger to work well with, and uh, one Grove Matriarch. Yeah, I think it's better to take the Deep Branch Prowler. I don't have enough to work with Har If I, like, in my next five picks, if I see an Other Wolves, obviously the Harbinger would be way better. But if I see no no Other Wolves, no Grove Matriarchs, I it's just not a good card. It's a 5-5 five, five into an 8-8. Eight, eight. So I mean, it's just going to take that. And then, I don't think I have enough good cards with Raid, so I might as well take Aether Tap Shaman. Or maybe Conflagrate. I have one spell in my deck, Twin Strength and Burning Grace. Savage and Terminal Charge. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't think I'll be able to get a lot of Raid with Herd Mother, since I only have the one Token Creator and one Haste Creature, Pyre Giant. Not, not, a, not a huge one. So I'll take the Aether Tap Shaman. And then, okay, Dendrify is the best card in this pack, but I'm going to take the Cinderfist Brawler. Because it's a heroic. And then I'll take Shard Claw Crusher. Blizzard Shaman. Okay, excellent. And now I've got one pick left after this. Firelight Hunter, it looks like. Yep. Okay, so this deck is very polar. It would be much better if I didn't force myself to take every heroic. But uh, I've got a really good early game, which is what I wanted to do going in. My late game's not too impressive, but maybe I can just beat them overhead long enough that... I can win early game anyway. The, the only bad part is that I have a couple dud hitters. Like, this Harbinger Spring doesn't really do anything. Uh, most of the heroics I picked up are bad. Like, Pyre Giant. Uh, at least I didn't have to take the stupid. Flame Break Invoker's not that great either. Cinder for Sprawler's not good. Uh, the only saving grace there is I didn't have to take the, the Rubble Stone Elemental, which would have been truly awful. But uh, let's just go ahead and go to round one and see if we can pull off some sort of victory with Chain with this.